Boy, just be yourself. If people don't like you, if you're being yourself, fuck them! Welcome to another episode of The Noise. If you haven't yet, go ahead and follow us on The Big Three, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at The Noise Podcast, and follow everything Beat Network at BeatNetworkOnline.com. I am your host, Big Los. Hollywood Kev. Jake Alonzo. And we are here with another episode of The Noise. Apologies for last week. Life be lifing. It was yeah. a hectic week for all of us. Yeah. Well, the technically for y'all, too, I was actually available to do a show. I was big chilling. We yeah, I was. To you. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, I, I was definitely available yeah. to do a show for sure. Uh, life be life, and we need to make that a shirt because I've heard people. We say, do, we do, we do. Heard people say like, no, that's like the most straightforward explanation. About how shit be <laughs> yeah, life, life be life, be life, be life, bro. It really be life, uh, but we're here, here with another episode. Happy to be here, and this is another one of those dedication episodes because just like I did when I, what was that midnight I got off and we and we did the show. Brother. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yep. There was another one. Kev was off at ten o'clock, and here we are doing this show the day before. And both of us work tomorrow. All three of us work tomorrow. <laughs> uh, God bless us. <laughs> but either way, you know, we are here. Happy to be here. Um, this was also a quiet week. So yeah. Uh, but you know what? Uh, as we were talking about what we were going to talk about today, we didn't even let's get out the way now. Rest in peace to AJ Johnson. I was I was, was going to make my way there. Oh, my bad. I, I, I didn't know if there was. If, if, yeah, if, 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 yeah if, 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 all we do. We, we try to get the RPs out early. It's, yeah, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, but since yeah. we are here, um, like I said, it was a quiet week. However, we uh, did lose uh, a legend, man. We, we lost somebody that was probably I won't say the, but easily in like the top five of quotables of you know what I'm saying back in the 90s like the yeah. way that we get quotables from comedians now a yeah. lot of people you know AJ Johnson was definitely yeah you know like yeah. delivering them you got you got some quotes from him he definitely got I mean just did you at least pinch the bitch you know just right. performances <laughs> alone like like and yeah you got players club you got of course the iconic Ezel from Friday but even like little shit like like uh him playing uh Nelly DeSalle, who also passed away, rest in peace to her. Uh uh playing Nelly DeSalle's dude in uh in BAPS and he's he's sitting on the he uh was, he's, he sitting, was, he's, yeah. sitting, he's sitting on on the little uh, little patio joint crying to about I mean everybody sitting out there we eating I wanna eat too. Like <laughs> to this day, one of the funniest lines, bro, ever, bro. And of course, and I got the hook up. Right, and you felt right, about right, that, right. you know what I'm saying? And of course, blue. Uh, blue I got the hook up, man, and uh, 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 Bill Bellamy's man, and uh, how to be a how player. Be oh yeah. my, he just yeah. why'd you let it go? <laughs> <laughs> one of the best roles ever. Yo, yeah. AJ, this is a loss for sure to not only to to uh, to the acting community, but to the black community. Like he was one of those guys where like. You want to see him do well, and, and unfortunately, we see him. I can't say we saw him in a, in, a, in a deteriorating state, but we saw him in a state where like it, you don't want he'll be around much longer. We didn't. See, we definitely didn't see him in the best of health. Um, I'm gonna be honest; it, it was still pretty unexpected because he was still working. Yeah, he was. yeah. Did they um, say how he? They still haven't released that. Yeah, wow. fifty five years old. Wow. Yeah. You know, so still relatively young, man. As and you know, Kev, back, back when it was just you and I on the show, like we had the conversation. Twenty twenty one seems to it's going for our childhood. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I, mean? I was just in there thinking day by was, day. was twenty is twenty twenty one death wise worse than twenty twenty? Nah, because I, I, I know we had some feel, we had some big really, ones. I feel really bad for saying we had some big ones in twenty twenty. Kobe this year, we had, true. We had a, no, no, no. I mean, not on Kobe's level, but at the same time, but when we, we had some some heavy X, hitters, X passes here. So, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So we, 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 right. we've had some strong so like, bruh. Yeah, twenty twenty one is in the is in a strong running. I, it's it's, yeah. it's going. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. And I was looking at a list actually. Uh, Did yesterday, John Singleton pass this year? Or last year? Like, uh, David Deere before that. Yeah, we talking about good. Was it? Yeah, he died before the uh, last year of uh, Snowfall. Wow. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I was looking at a list earlier, and I was just seeing some of the names. I was like, God damn, I forgot they passed. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's been a rough year. I don't know. You may be on to something. 2021 might might be gunning for that position. And, you know, you know, you know Norm MacDonald, even though you know, this, is, this is what we do here, but Norm MacDonald's also a, a very comedy-wise, may not be the most popular cat, mm-hmm. but I remember growing up watching movies like Dirty Work, uh, Screwed, you know what I'm saying? Uh, just watching his watching his his career kind of. Well, he, he, he was the dog on Doctor Doolittle. Wasn't he, he? He's lucky from Doctor Doolittle, right? yeah. Wow. And he passed away, and he had cancer for ten years before he passed away. Yo, like you know, 
the, the last thing any of us ever want to do is big up cancer in, in the fucking least bit. But I definitely big up the people who fought it quietly. Mm-hmm. Not saying, oh, if you complain about it, you a bitch. I'm not saying that. But Norm McDonald had a fucking show on Netflix. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, right. He was another cat that was working up until his death. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And just like Chadwick, who was last year, Chadwick was, was a big was one last year. year. Yeah, Chadwick, yeah. Um, just like Chadwick, like, just never said anything to anybody. Yeah. He just like, look, it's either going to take me or, or it's not going to work. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. That's just what it's going to be. Um, but yeah, man, AJ Johnson, that was a that was an unexpected one. Like it was definitely unexpected. I, you know, I am happy that now people know his name because mm-hmm. he was definitely Ezel for years. Yeah, for years he was. You're you know right. You're right. And his wife was. He wasn't even blue. He was full blown Ezel. Straight up Ezel. You know him mm-hmm. as Ezel. You know, and his, his wife, you know, she she made a strong point. She was like, please stop sending the fake love. Like, we, we don't need that right now. It's true. You're right. I guarantee he's a bunch of motherfuckers that probably thought he was already dead. Mm hmm. You know what I mean? And, and, and that celebrities want to call and, and, and flood. So I'm like, nah, you, you, you want to help them out? You do exactly what you know what it is that you can do as a celebrity, and they did. It and shout out, and shout out to Offset. Offset actually did. I think just donated like seventy k to oh, pay yeah, for the funeral. K. It was a thirty k. Um, then somebody else did twenty k. No, Offset did thirty. Lil Rel did uh twenty k. Right. Then somebody did ten k. So basically, it's all is just is it for funeral expenses and just like extra money? Just so it can't be all just funeral expenses, the, the, right? The reason the, the the whole reason that they even did the um. GoFundMe was to bury him and hopefully uh, divvy the rest up amongst his kids. Gotcha. Okay. So I'm gonna which, say I, ain't, I don't know about no twenty k burial. <laughs> hey, but you know what though? I think the average funeral is like seventeen thousand right now. That's nuts nowadays. Bro, it's expensive as fuck to, to die. die. It's gonna bury me. Just just wrap me up in bro, a sheet and put me on the curb or something. <laughs> Send me on fire, bro. <laughs> that's what I've been saying, man. Just cook me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Send me on fire. Like, put me on on, on, on goddamn. Like. 460. You know what I'm saying? Preheat that joint. Turn turn 30 minutes in. You feel me? Just let me good. You know what I'm saying? Put me on broil. Speed this thing up. You feel me? (laughs) But um, nah, man. Definitely RIP to AJ Johnson. Another, you know, legend. And again, that's uh, another strike in the childhood. That just makes me fucking sick. You know what's wild? Like, like, really, if you look back at the Castle Friday, like now, you know, the whole whole class of Friday is gone. It's like gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, from, from the biggest characters like a Debo to. Uh, 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 Janet Jackson. I've, I've got her name in the movie and her, her name her, in real life, but I've always called her Ann Dell. And Dell. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Yeah. And, bruh, she's gone. Pops is gone. Um, Ronaldo Ray is gone. Debo is gone. Michael Clark is gone. Like, you name it, they're mm-hmm. gone. You know what I'm saying? I'll be, oh, no, I really be forgetting Michael Clark Duncan. Like, I know he mm-hmm. passed away, but it's just still like, damn, Michael Clark Duncan did pass yeah, away. He passed away a few years ago, I believe. Yeah, he passed, oh, a few years ago. Yeah, yeah. like a good five, six months back. He, he passed away not so long after uh, Roscoe Jenkins, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. He's, he's, he's been gone for a minute. Yeah, it's just, whew, that shit is wild, man. It just it just makes you nervous. It makes you want to, like, really just appreciate the ones you came up with because we are start, we are now in that era. Did we talk about Michael Where, K? Yeah, last, yeah, we did. last we did. episode. Uh, yeah. we, we weren't on that one. Okay, all right, never That's why. Um, but, yeah, R.I.P. Michael K. Williams as well. But, um, yeah, we're now at that age. Then we're watching the people that mm-hmm. we came up with go, yeah. mm-hmm. and that's that's a that's a crazy fucking thing. I seen something that said, uh, "I need to see terms and conditions for 2022," and they right. Nah, I, need, oh, I need to know bro. what I'm going into first. We, need, we, we got we need a dead a year before yeah. we just commit to the shit. I ain't checking a single box. <laughs> oh, I'm not God. confirming how yeah. many goddamn crosswalks is no. on that shit. Or anything until now. Right, let me go ahead and see what's going this on. This weird matrix we're living in is insane. Until then, I'm a robot. Right. <laughs> uh, but anyway, man. Let's go ahead and get into the show. Like I said, we're not going to keep y'all long because uh, we're, we're tired. <laughs> we're, all, Exhausted. we're all tired in this place. We all work today. Um, real quick, uh, as we just found out a few hours ago, Jay, and that's J-A-Y, because <laughs> it was J versus J. J-A-Y, yes. Uh, got the W in 20 for 20. Yes, sir. 10, 9, and one draw. And that one draw was, first, I'm nope, not even going to put him out there <laughs> like that, but <laughs> the, there's a person that actively listens to this show that as I was just about to close it off, his vote just came right. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> when I say that shit came through in the clutch, oh my God. Now, his vote didn't <clears throat> shift shit else on any other votes, but that, that one. one. <laughs> but but, uh, but uh, let me first say uh, shout out to Jay. Jay is by far one of the coolest folks ever in the world. An amazing competitor. Sleeper agent. 
yeah. sleep ranch for sure. Um, uh, and I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Um, uh, and me and Los, we we laughed about this shit earlier, but like, but by the time we were done with the battle, no lie. Oh yeah, that night. That night we were done with the battle, and I, I did a sneak little. I went in, voted, whatever, whatever, and I I did a little sneak look at the uh, scorecard. Bro, I was I was getting beat the fuck up, nah, like there's, twenty nothing. I said they're beat the fuck up, but then they are they are jumping me. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is a jumping. I'm being jumped right like, now. Yo, that's that's disrespectful. Oh, if, if Jay would have became the first person to lose twenty to zero, <laughs> yeah, dude, that would have been nuts. I, 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 would, I would never battle AJ Johnson. Never mind. Did you at least pinch the <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And and I'm telling you, man, like and 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 not taking that away, but if I if I lost twenty to nothing. But these particular categories, you gotta retire. I gotta retire. I sh- I shouldn't be walking outside at all. Leave the you boots know what I'm saying, brother. <laughs> you know, but Leave the boots in the definitely ring. good time though, man. Jay Jay put up a hell of a fight. You know what I'm saying. Of course, every time we we do these, you know, we got a house full of people and everybody's vibing, having a good time, talking all the shit they can. It was it was definitely a good time. But uh, my 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 win on Brennan was a dog walk compared to. My, my my defeat on yeah, Jay because I gonna hear that he'll he'll hear it I'm, I'm sure I'm sure he will we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it but now we need to smoke because uh, Jay I'm not gonna lie Jay had me shitting bricks mm. I mean all day I now was you gotta deal bricks. with hubby now she got she he got he got to defend the household so even the troll with all the hits <laughs> so that's cool because I'm, I'm gonna knock out hubby or the baby can get some too blues clues battles nigga, whatever you want to do you know what I'm saying I mean, until, until the baby drop baby shark. Oh yeah, that then, shit still ring off. Nigga, you lost it. Nigga. What's the shit that's that's on Netflix that's like always in the top ten? The cartoon <laughs> Coco Melon or something like that. What? Oh, yeah, something. Yeah. <laughs> when they hit you with some Coco Melon, nigga, you better duck. <laughs> you better get I'm, I'm, out I, the way. I, I don't know what this is. I know you don't know what this is. <laughs> Pay attention next time. Guess what? They know what it is. Uh, but the uh, finals for the number one contenders tournament to establish the number one contender to go against your boy, the reigning and defending twenty for twenty league champion. Um will be October 9th. Uh, that's going to be a Saturday. And that's live, be live in at Dream person. Catcher, Dreamcatcher Studios off. If you're in Vegas, it's off of Charleston and Jones. Charleston and Jones. Uh, free of entry. Uh, so you got to pay for your drinks. <laughs> Niggas got to make money. Um, but yeah, it's going to be a great time. But yeah, that the next battle will be this coming Sunday, which is the third. Mm-hmm. So it's not going to be on a Saturday. This time it's going to be on a Sunday, October 3rd. Uh, producers will be Jazzy Faye. Hey. Uh, rapper is 3-6 three, six. Three, six Mafia. Hey. Uh, the singer, I pulled the damn thing. Usher. Okay. Singer's Usher. Hey. Which is crazy because, first of all, there's a lot of niggas that haven't come up in 20 for 20 yet. It's, it's all about the wheel, bro. It's all about the wheel. The, the, the wheel has been taking this precious time with a bunch of people, but Usher's finally made it. Uh, and the wild card round is. Fire beat. So wherever, whatever track that you could think of that you just know. I like when the beat drop better. Okay, when the beat drop. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> I just want to confuse people to be like, oh, that I like how that song drops. Then the rest of the song is just trash. But I'm talking about like the records that you just are, they almost go down to history for the beat alone. It's just yeah. it's all the fire emojis. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be. It's gonna be a solid ass. Uh, it's gonna be a fun time. Joint. Yeah, man. Yeah, uh, one, one about left before we get to the big show, man. I commend and y'all though, man. Y'all went through all this just to lose to me. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. We're not even think much right now. That's, that's fine. Yeah, you ain't gonna think about me. But 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 October 9th, uh, and and shout out to all the twenty for twenty fans out there, man. Because like even last night in the comments was, was nuts. Like bro, it was pure fire emojis all night. That was a great record. And great. and you know, it seemed like every show we do, they just get bigger and bigger and bigger. This is why I also say I don't, I don't be buying that shit that Jade and Pierce be doing because Jade went deep in California during the California. Round. She was on Crenshaw Slots for a good minute, actually. And then I was like, it was so much seawalk music playing <laughs> <laughs> in this damn wild card. I was just completely thrown. <laughs> but um, but yeah, man. That was a great battle. Replay is still available on YouTube. No. No, uh, no, no, crop, no copyright strikes. I mean, no shit. Keep I rocking. can't imagine it would be not not for this one because there was no Jay Z play. <laughs> no, no, no Jay Z play at all. Even though I, I had uh, Snoop, uh, I want to rock the Jay Z remix on my list. I'm like, I wouldn't have played that. I'm, 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 I'm kind of glad I didn't realize y'all, no one played Nip. That's crazy. No one played Nip. That's absolutely true. And I had yeah, Nip ready nice. to go, and I really had Nip locked in, ready to go. Was, but, but as much as we as much as we we love Nip, would he really work in a battle? 
Yeah. He's worked before. He, he does work before. He's also lost before. He lost to Beyonce. Well, shit, everybody going to lose to Beyonce. <laughs> this is true. Um, but he's also won before. So it's Yeah, I played uh, last time I checked, I think, against the battle with Brennan in that one. Yeah, yeah, that it won there. <laughs> and then you played... Um, uh, what did you play against me that I played Beyonce back? That's a good question. I'm not sure. Well, that ha- yeah, because it was a uh, it was what the boy wonder. Oh no, no it was a uh, it was a uh, it was a uh, hip boy. I hip played boy, um, yeah. racks in the middle. Boom, oh, racks yeah. in the middle. And I played something Beyonce and won that easily. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's gonna be a it's gonna be a great battle. Really looking forward to that. But ladies and gentlemen, if I'm talking to people in the room, gentlemen, gentlemen. <laughs> Yo, are you ready? Yes, sir. For this, all that, all that. and you don't know when they got this or that. What's the black sheep? What? <laughs> Who's a black sheep? What's a black sheep? How's a black sheep? All the questions. Um, and and apparently that was that was made by black sheep because everybody wanted the guy. Oh, text you know what? Me. I meant to bring it up to you too. I'm like, yeah, but like, yeah, that's that's black sheep. Like, you know those black sheep. And everybody that's brought it up to me, I said the same thing that all of y'all that, that brought this shit up. Okay, cool. What's their other song? It don't matter. No, they, it do. It do. Don't act like everybody just know black sheep out here. You know that song. And then you know so here. You know what? No, gripe, gripe time with Lowe's. Every time some shit like that happens, I get flooded with the goddamn. Accusation, whatever the fucking word is gonna be, we'll get to that. You the one who said it. No, but here's the thing: Kev also says shit I don't know, and no one ever says anything to this. You, you know what's right. funny? No, you, you, you know why? Because, because, below me because, fuck no, up. Because, because Kev out the gate said, "You know what? I don't know." I already know you're right, Kev. Fall back, homie. You good? I asked him this. Listen, <laughs> I said I'm good, but I'm just like, God damn, no, like, nigga, you said the song. I think it's by. Mavis and them. Like, who, nigga? <laughs> It'd be like five, it, the last five fucking years. I'm like, I don't know who the fuck. How do you not know this? So did y'all just ignore that Kev also said he didn't know it? Or it's just, <laughs> no, no, it's Kev, more Kev come down this is, really this early. Is I, picking I don't on, know it. This is picking on the fat kid in elementary school. <laughs> nah, that's Kev what it is. Early. And then Kev, and see, that's he, and then you the fucking athlete, you the jock, you know what I'm saying? And I'm the fat kid with the twinkie. Y'all, they nigga, keep knocking I'm the shit fat my, too. What are you keep, talking about? They keep knocking the shit out of my hand. <laughs> Little fat fat, you go eat off the ground, little fat fat. <laughs> <laughs> little fat boy. <sighs> I bet you want that, don't you? Get it. Get it. <laughs> Trouble wobble. My fat ass crying, picking it up off the ground, trying to trying to get the red ants off. <laughs> <laughs> off. Kiss the god and shit. <laughs> Whatever, nigga. Anyway, this is that black sheep song. Would you rather have a multi season TV series on Netflix? Or a solid HBO Max movie. Damn. Damn. I mean, TV series. You said the TV series. Why is that? Yeah. Um, replay value. I mean, granted, yes, you do. You're, you're going to get that with the movie as well. But I feel like people are going to go back to shows before a movie. Hell, people still go back to Sopranos. True. You know what I mean? So I think Why? if it's something, if it's some, yeah, if it's something solidly good, people are going to go back to it a lot quicker than they would a movie. You know what didn't get a lot of revisit, or at least a lot of conversation when people did revisit it? Eyes. Like once it was available again, it was just like, all right, well, that was yeah, Oz. You're, you're right. <laughs> the you're the right. only thing about Oz that, that made it hard to go back to is the fact that when it was hot in its heyday, you you made sure you caught it on time. Yeah. But once you experience it, you don't want to go back to that shit. Like, yeah, that's, it was, that, it was, Oz it was, can it get heavy, wild yeah. out this yeah. time. Like, bro, yeah. I can't stomach this. This is just gross. That's yeah. wild. You know what I'm saying? Like, when shit was really starting to get like weird, like I'm um, good, like you know, what I'm yeah. saying? make you never do time at all, like nah, I'm cool, bro. That, that ain't for me, bro, bro. You're like damn, nigga. So the welcome to prison is rape? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> welcome to prison, we rape you here. Yeah. No, nah, listen, what you, bro. What you here for? Tax evasion. Oh yeah, I mean you gotta suck my dick. <laughs> <laughs> right. Like, what you mean? Listen, bro. You ain't see the rules. <laughs> There's an episode, bro. This one dude had walked in, and he, I mean, chin up, like he was the hardest nigga on the block. The next scene, oh, was, oh yeah, oh yeah. Yo, the camera, is, the camera so passes aside. This nigga's that nigga's getting. I, I mean, no homo, cheeks beat. I'm like, bruh. Yeah, nah. And and they they bum rush the cell. They they the guards grab dude that's beating his cheeks. Like he been right, bruh. It's a and it's an aerial view. I'll never forget this, bro. It's an aerial view of them working on dude in in the uh, emergency joint. Mm-hmm. Whole ass area, bloody. Oh, bro, it's disgusting, bro. Yeah, nah. It, nigga. 
Nick, no. so that's and that's question. why you can't go back to it. He said, and that's why you don't watch it. <laughs> <laughs> and so for, for me, that's the question. I'd rather go for the uh, HBO Max joint. The reason why I say that is because while Netflix do have shows that can run, they are notorious for giving you that one season. Like, no, we give you five seasons of that first one. We'll cancel you out. And they'll cancel you in a heartbeat. Well, that's, what, least, that's what I said. I said five <clears> seasons <throat> of a Netflix show or one movie. That's fine, though. Because you know, people can because, still because, go back to but it. Think about the, but, but as far as Netflix shows that never run, how many shows on Netflix can you, can you honestly say like they have five seasons? All five seasons are worth the watch. Well, that's with any show. I well, well, say that's, that's just shows in general. True. But it's, I think it's, it, the thing is, like you could say whether, whether or not all five you know what I'm saying? Seasons are worth the watch. However, each season was a check for one. Mm-hmm. <laughs> True. Two. Each episode is a check. Right. So you said, depending on who you are, each episode mm-hmm. is a check. And for two, five seasons, like Kev said, you're going to run that back. Nigga, we're still running back episodes of American Dad. And Family, right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, yeah. You're going to get that run back. You can only give up so many runs off of a movie. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then when you really think about it, a lot of movies that are coming to directly to streaming, they don't have that staying power. That a lot of movies we came up with, and I wonder if that's well, that, they're made for streaming as well, right? But that's what I'm saying. I wonder if that's you know a product of that because now that we're not going to the movies no more, like a lot of movies don't have that. Like I can put on Vampire in Brooklyn right now, mm-hmm. but I know for a fact I'm not watching the Little Things ever again, right? <laughs> right. You know what I mean? So it's random two movies as well, but I know <laughs> what. <laughs> But you know, it's, uh, and, and, and it's, it's funny you bring, you bring it up. The two times I went to movies this year are, are both movies that I found to be fucking trash. It was probably made for Little Things and Candyman. I don't know why. I don't know why you dedicated your time to look for Little Things. Yeah, me either. I'm like, fuck. I watched it on streaming and I, I didn't. I couldn't finish it. Little Things. It was bad. Yeah, I was just bored with it. Like, yeah. what another, is going on? Another in this movie, movie that was really bad that I was disappointed in. Um, Malignant. Malignant. It's not it's supposed bad. to be a horror movie. It's, 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 it's not horror at all. I can tell you that right Yeah, now. it's definitely not horror, but no, nah, I thought that shit, I thought it was bad. Yeah, heard, it was a waste of time for I've me. I've heard some bad things about yeah. it. Somebody <laughs> said that it, it was it was Drop Dead Fred with gore. I'm like, yeah, makes sense. <laughs> makes sense. Hey, Loki, that made Drop Dead Fred. Bro. And then oh, the, oh. the then the like the uh, special effects like was real cheesy to me. I'm like, I mean, why are you using special effects from two decades ago? Like, No spoilers, but just when you find out what's actually taking place, it's like, oh, that's stupid. Yeah. Oh, that's big. Though. Yeah. And then you have to think like, okay, so does she, uh, we, we get, you know, the story, but, have it, but does this person get penalized? Does everybody just be like, ah, oh, well, it wasn't her. So <laughs> we're not charging you. You know what I mean? Like, we're back <laughs> yeah, like, like, no, no, I, it's, I it's not your charge. It's yeah. that right there. That's, that's right. That, that's charge. your charge. <laughs> like, like, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm that good. That was a waste of time. That just sounds stupid. <laughs> no, it's, it's, that was it's, a waste it's of time. Dumb. Yeah. It's dumb. Uh, the reveal is like, Kiss my ass for real. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. what we're doing. It's crazy because when they first came on, they first was doing everything. I was like, "Shit, they might be on or something." You motherfuckers, oh, trash, trash. I tell you, trash. But it, it might shine a lot out here, like dance, but <laughs> oh, M Night. Uh, also, uh, uh, I I caught up on a lot of movies too. I watched Old and I watched uh, Free Guy. Old is horrible. Yeah, Old is bad. Free Guy, I had fun with Free Guy, I had so I, much fun That movie I was watching, I was I like, this so shit is much fun with it. That I movie was fun. It. I really got to see it. Like, I want to see it, Like, but I, but I heard the exact th- same thing. It's like, you'll have fun. It's not necessarily a good movie. It's just a fun It's movie. corny as shit, but it's-, it's But a, I think it's meant to be It's that, a though. really good time, though. Yeah, it's, it's a good a time. Really you you watch it, be like, I have fun watching it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, I enjoy movies like that. <laughs> oh, but, 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 man, what did I tell you? What did I just say? Oh. Oh, it's horrible. Yeah, I oh, I horrible. Was horrible when I saw yeah. the commercials. Yeah, they trying yeah. to make old boy eat. Off but of why is bread. this this? Yeah, how did that happen? Yeah, M Night says so. M Night. What the twist? <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm definitely going to TV show though. I'm cool with getting a couple of bags, and I'm cool with having that replay value. And in a lot of ways, you kind of live forever when your show has that replay value. Yeah. But the show got to be good though. Uh, no, you're right. It, it has to be good. The show has to be good, man. But like, but you know, you look at the late Michael K. Williams. Who will be Omar forever? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just mm-hmm. coming well, off well, no, good no, shit. no. Uh, the, and, and that's a perfect example because no, nah, even though at one point he was just Omar forever, but now nah, he was no, Omar. Yeah. He's I, old I, boy I, from Boardwalk Empire. He's the pops from what's it, from uh, uh, Lovecraft Country. Like he, he has no, of roles. Yeah, he does have like, roles. Like you're saying, at the end of the day, you Omar. Like you know when you when you going down the roles, and then it's and every actor has this. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like when you go down Denzel Washington's roles. You, you'll say certain things, say certain things, but then when you get to X, you're like, you know, Malcolm X. And your whole tone even saying it mm-hmm. changes. And that's 
that's Omar from like they all have that role that is just will forever stick with you. Just like uh, for me, um, um, Chris Evans, he's been a crazy shit. But at the end of the day, my nigga, you cap. Yeah, you Captain America. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what, but he's been he's been, in, he's been in, <laughs> no. he's been in a bunch of shit. You know what I mean? But yeah, but, before but, and but, after. But, but that, that, that's my point though, because with Chris Evans, outside of Cap, you can name she's been in, but nothing that memorable quite like Cap. Michael K. Williams, and nothing you can remember quite like Omar. That's not true. Stucky from uh, Barbara Empire is definitely the character that, that he was number two behind Steve Buscemi. Uh, all right, you know what I'm saying, but, and then and not to mention love, love to go on your point, I've never seen Boy Rock Empire. Right. And I'm pretty sure there's a whole bunch of people who've never seen it, so they probably will be like, "Hey, that, that's, I that's mean, you Omar. know, him, you know him as Omar, but for like like face recognition, you know him. You, you can really call, pull him to Omar, and then just and if you follow his career, like I did, mm-hmm. you know him for several movie roles. Like, bro, he killed that shit. You know what I'm saying? And just absolutely. But but what I'm saying is like when you see him in those roles. If you don't, if you can't think of his name, if you can't think of Michael K. Williams, you're gonna say Omar's in this movie, <laughs> or Omar. Omar from The Wire. You know what Omar, I'm saying? He coming. Basically, I say all that to say, when you're a part of a solid TV show, that shit will live with you forever. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, like the, the the Hispanic cat from New York Undercover, the Hispanic cat from New York Undercover. <laughs> <laughs> he was a backup dancer in uh, the Beat It. Exactly. Yeah, you know what I said yeah, yeah. Uh, when I when I saw him in that? <laughs> huh. Oh shit! Is this Hispanic cap? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's exactly how that went every fucking time. You know what I mean? But like, you know, like even the people that know your name, they at least know your work. So yeah, you know, I would I, I would like to be memorable, but I guarantee you, if I'm in a movie on HBO Max that eventually gets old, they may not relay back to that. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with me, I'd have to have some shit that keeps cooking, or that's pretty much it for me. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Would you? <laughs> this is definitely for Kev, <laughs> but I, I got to get everybody. Viral video, mm-hmm. HD. Mm-hmm. They went live with it, so it's not like you know you just tell them just delete it and it's gone. It went live, so niggas watched it. Would you rather have a viral video of you knocking out Six Nine or a viral video of you knocking out Richard Spencer? Who's Richard Spencer? Uh, the leader of Alt Right. Uh, any that? Richard Spencer? No. Viral video of me knocking out the dispenser cat. Richard Spencer, why is that? Yeah, because I mean, with six nine, I mean, shit. All that is is is, is I don't know what you call it. It's, it's shit that doesn't really pertain to to me. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like you you're, you're quote unquote a rapper and you do that shit. Okay, so the people in the industry got to deal with you. You're not changing my everyday. You know what I mean? If I seen six nine on the street, he's not. He's not he's not doing it to me. But the Spencer guy, he might look at me, hey nigga, on the street, you know, and that that can change something. So I, I think I think I think I'm a rock with Spencer guy. Jay. It'd be fun to knock out six nine though. <laughs> and you be the first you be the first nigga to find yeah, touch. It, it'd be fun, but no, nah, I'd go with the Spencer guy. I'm gonna go with Spencer as well. The reason why is because it's quite it's quite simple. You knocking out Richard Spencer has way more longevity than you knocking out six nine. Six nine, that's a that's a Flavor of the week news, like yeah. After yeah. after two three days, nobody gives a fuck. Nah, I think it's the opposite. I think I'm the telling Richard Spencer will give out two or three days. That's six nine. That's gonna become a meme. That's gonna that shit is true. Gonna, you are right about that. That shit's gonna live. You are right but, about but, that. But, but even that though, but but, but so something that means well, neither one means more. But the one that will mean more to you, mm-hmm. you knock out six nine today. That's breaking news from at best three days because because the name six nine itself don't ring bells no more. It just don't, you know. what I'm saying, like, what's the last you saw? It? Like, you, we saw it the other day, six nine, basically begging uh, Gilly for an uh, interview on a uh, million dollars worth of, worth of game. Like, bro, I'm cool. Y- your name doesn't ring bells like that anymore. Like, like people are done listening. You pissed them off. So, not knocking out six nine will only be a personal. Yeah, I did it. Who gives a fuck? But Rich Spencer, and what he stands for, what you stand for. But that's gonna lead, that's gonna last a long, long time. I'm not gonna ever spend it just for the culture. Nah, yeah, just he, for the culture, you gotta go. He, he, six nine, bro. It's just like like you. There's no outside of your own personal satisfaction to the shit. There's no gain to that. Outside there's, of just living forever in a meme. Yeah, I think y'all <laughs> both right. Honestly, like yeah, you're right. It's, it's gonna be a meme, but you're absolutely right. There's no there's no gain to that. The Richard Spencer you knock him out. Not only do, do the world see me knock you out, but you got to go back to your boys. And if they don't happened. like me. They they see you get knocked out. Bye, you know what I mean? 
Exactly. You <laughs> know what I mean? Old nigger. But so. six nine, bro, that you, you drop him, bro. He's back on. He's back on IG next to talk about suck my dick, like, bro. It, it was worth just, nothing. You can't debate your lines no more, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, it's just worth. It, it's worth nothing to me. This one's a quick and easy one. Would you rather be a brand ambassador for a weed strand or an alcohol brand? Weed. Weed. <laughs> okay. Why? Why? Well, hey, I mean, I think weed is like. The, the thing right now, you know, you're going on top of that, man. Um, alcohol, I, I just don't rock with it like that. Got you. They were like, you liar. I ain't never seen this nigga drink. <laughs> just don't rock with it like that. Uh, while I do drink, but I would say we just has that, that longer lasting impact on people. Like, eventually, bro, motherfucker, you're gonna, you're gonna, eventually, you will stop drinking. Eventually, you'll put down the bottle. Eventually, you'll just, alcohol only lasts. For oh so long, you know what I'm saying? Like, in, in, in my opinion, in, in my personal opinion, Fifty Cent, you every everything that Fifty drops on his Instagram is hashtag whatever the fuck his alcohol shit is called. Mm-hmm. But uh, did you see the sales in that shit? It doesn't blow because his name is on it. That he just he just does it every day. Like think about it. Back in the day when getting a liquor a liquor brand, unless your name is Jay Z or Nas or whoever, somebody who got, who got big name with big money behind him. Bro, putting your name on some shit like, bro, somebody had posted Nuvo the other day. When's the last fuck time I've seen anybody promote Nuvo? Bro, but Nuvo was everywhere. And Nuvo was everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. In yeah. every Khaled video, every T-Pain video, every, like, it was everywhere. But how many people you know now own not only a, 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 a weed business, their own strand of weed that is, that's going to last forever. Like, Wiz been smoking weed since he's been Wiz Khalifa. And now has his own strand of weed. That was expected, though. You, it, yeah. It's expected. <laughs> same thing with Snoop. But even like watch like has like Seth Rogen, who now owns his own weed business. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that shit goes way farther than liquor, unless you're Jay Z or Nas. I think. I think with those two, it, it kind of depends on the um, demographic, far as the sales. Mm-hmm. I feel like. People that are heavily invested into alcohol, those are going to be more of your ups, upscale people. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And the weed, you're going to get the upscale people, but you're also going to get the regular folks too. Yeah, you're going to get a good medley of folks. You know what I mean? I, I that's in a both, good yeah. reason. Good reason why I will go with weed. I feel like that's with, with more weed, inclusive than than the alcohol. And also with the weed, I, I would use the products a hell of a lot more than alcohol. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. No, I, would I would also go full weed. blown ambassador for weed. No, I would also go weed strand, but I, I got to make sure. Like my commercials are solid as well. <laughs> oh yeah, it can't it can't what what be saying? no bullshit. Nah, nah, bro. My, my weed commercial gonna be just like Romeo's ICDC College. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jay Zendika, Jay Zendika, <laughs> ICDC College. <laughs> uh, anyway, real quick, we did want to uh, kind of touch on this. We wanted to touch on this in the last episode when we were recording late, um, but we didn't get a chance to even do that show at all. There was this weird conversation going around social media for, <laughs> for this week. Weird, nah. And um, downright annoying. I, I, I guess I, I'll ask first before we get into the conversation: Is Drake today bigger than Michael Jackson? Keywords at his peak. <laughs> get the entire fuck out of here. And, no. I, and I and I said with all love, <laughs> I said it with all love and respect for my fellow man. No. Get the fuck out of here yeah. with that bullshit. Whoever posed that need to be smacked multiple times. Smacked a few times while playing by Drake because Drake playing, could probably be like, "Are you stupid?" While you, while playing ludicrous slap, like, yeah. bruh, yeah. what? No, the, here's no. The thing. I don't think I don't think at least in our lifetime, I don't think we'll see anybody that was is bigger than Mike at his peak. You know what's crazy? Now that music is so accessible. That lets you know that your statement is true that we would never see somebody because music is so accessible and we still haven't seen anybody like Mike as at this peak. Nope. The only person close right now, but still miles away, mm-hmm. is is Beyonce. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like that's what the conversation should have been. Is Drake right. bigger than Beyonce? Right. Is Drake the new Beyonce? Well, that, then, should, well, then, that would be that, more of an that would have been exactly. an actual conversation. Exactly. Now, now we can talk about it. But bigger than Mike in his prime. We talk about Michael Jackson, the guy that jumps on stage and stands and looks at the crowd for fifteen fucking minutes and says nothing, and motherfuckers are passing out left and right. I will always him. Go, I will always go back to this: fifteen minutes of just standing, just there. standing there, and, and niggas passed out. He cut his head, and the crowd went crazy. <laughs> yeah, <again. laughs> like he could turn his head 
slightly. So I remember, I remember, um, because I was uh, my my grandmother, she was a huge Michael Jackson fan. I remember we had like the tapes of his concert right. when I was a kid, and one of the particular tapes, which would you watch all the time, um, the end of it, he has a jetpack and he like flies, flies away. Off. He flies off. Yeah, yeah. This is the nineties. And he has a jetpack. We are just now seeing this now. You ain't about to hear NBA young boy. Yo, give me a jetpack. So <laughs> no, how nigga. could Drake <laughs> ever hit, hit this man? This man and has also, a, you know what I mean? Like, come on. on. You can't put that in the air because that definitely sounds like something Drake would try. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that he wouldn't try it. But I'm saying like, what, what, what I'm saying is Mike had this two decades oh, before course. everybody even thought about doing this. You know what I mean? So first of all, what's what's the source behind this bullshit ass story? Well, because he's been- actually I think it was a I don't want to say credible credible quotes. I think my heart wants to say the Shea Room posted. It was somebody of that caliber that posted this question. It wasn't like a regular person. Well, no, the question was already making this round and then Shade Room kind of made Okay, it okay, that's probably where I said it. But if this is based off of Every time Drake drops, he breaks a different record mm-hmm. in streaming. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that's all this generation is kind of, is focused on because we don't focus on units anymore. Because units, even though units are still a thing, units aren't a thing anymore. Right. And that was my point because I, I had the conversation with uh, a kid on my job, and I said, "Bro, like what you're viewing is just this is this is this is watered down accessibility." Because we think about it, when Michael Jackson was at, was at his peak. Motherfuckers wasn't streaming shit. They're buying CDs. Yeah, right. They're the buying CDs. That means a motherfucker got yes. up out of their bed and go to the and store go to the buy store that shit. You know what I'm saying? And yes, Michael was Jackson 11 was million huge. CDs. Boy. You know what yeah. I'm saying? <laughs> and 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 once Mike died, the collector, the, the collection that you have of Michael Jackson, like come on, like nowadays because music, like you said, is so accessible. Drake can walk on stage, bro. Crowd goes nuts after about three minutes. Where's the music? Right. We ain't even gotta go that far. Even though I know there was dynamics behind it, Drake went on stage and got booed. Yeah. That was my next point. Mike has never been booed. Because never. they wanted Frank Ocean. They didn't want you, Drake. They, they wanted Frank Ocean. They wanted Frank Ocean. <laughs> that, that should say it all that, right now. They didn't Frank, want you, Drake. That was Frank at two albums. <laughs> <laughs> and they booed Drake. Right. Mike can come back from the dead right now. Half skeleton, half rigor mortis, and do <laughs> that exact same pop up. People are gonna lose it. Some will be from fear, but some will be like, "Oh shit, it's Michael Jackson." It was all—it would be almost like it never even fucking happened. You know what I mean? And, and and we're talking about an artist who, no matter which corner of this planet you go to, they know this man, Michael Jackson. Yeah. Period. Yeah. You got from, places from that, old to young. From old to young. Yeah. They know Michael Jackson. Sorry to say, this is places I heard that. They don't know who Drake is. Granted, Drake is fucking huge. You're not touching that yet, bro. Behind Mike, you got Prince. Behind Prince, who knows? But those names, you go anywhere with those names. Bro, nah, brother. Nah, brother. So whoever posted that, you, you need to be slapped twice. What, what I don't understand is... Let's let's take into account streaming. Yes, he is breaking streaming records. That that's great for this generation. Phenomenal. What I don't understand is no one takes into account that even in streaming, with how they calculate streamings streams as units, he still hasn't even done an eleven million unit in streams exactly. yet. Exactly. If it was that easy, if it was that easy, you know what exactly. I'm saying? Exactly. Was that, that physically? He did that with Thriller. You know what I'm saying? Niggas had to buy CDs, bro. Like for real. You had to go wait in line. Then you you had to deal with that stress of finding out the shit's gone. Because guess what? This nigga did 11 million Mm -hmm. units. And yeah, you haven't hit 11 million units in streaming yet. And niggas can go and play your album right now, and that's going to count for you. Mm -hmm. And you still haven't done that. You still haven't have have haven't had an album do that. You're breaking records. Big fucking deal. Very big fucking deal. I, I give you all the kudos for that. But you're not doing in streaming units what this man did in physical units. Exactly. Right. So until you drop a, until he has a project that can get to that kind of place, we don't need to talk about that. Easy. We need to talk about that no more. And I don't think <laughs> I don't think he ever will have a project that can get no. to that place. I'm telling you, brother, the last time I actually dedicated my day to finding a CD that just dropped, and I couldn't find it nowhere because it was sold out everywhere, was Get Rich or Die Trying. And I still couldn't 
come close to Michael Jackson. Exactly. Oh, Eminem had three Diamond albums and still can't come still close to Michael Jackson. Jackson. And I, mean, I remember driving around the city looking for 50 Cent's yeah. album. Look, oh, look, bro, that, look was, that was a treasure hunt. For, for I mean, looking for the album. Like, bro, I can't find shit for nothing. And then, I, bro, and then also I say the quality of the music also plays a huge factor. And I mm-hmm. say that because the older Mike got, the more Mike put out music, it was still just gems amongst gems amongst mm-hmm. gems. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it's to the point with Drake to where I know when Drake drops Friday, I know what I'm getting out of a Drake album. And oh, yeah. Four songs. <laughs> yeah. Out of 21 songs, I like seven of them. Cool. All right. Whatever. At least with Mike, like, sorry to say, we'll never get another thriller. No, never. Nah, nah, Not even close. Nah. But it's, it's like you said, we won't get another bad. The last time, <laughs> the last time we had an album have an impact to where you say you're driving around the city is a get rich or die trying. There's nothing else hitting like that anymore. Like even remotely, nah. like that. And it's then, too. It's too accessible. It's way. It's, too, it's, it's way on my phone accessible. at Thursday at midnight. It's way too accessible. I remember Pac, and you know, I remember Pac saying, "All eyes on me," had more sales than what the president had in votes and wins that year than what Clinton had in votes. And R.I.P. Pac. You already know how I feel about Pac. Even that's not touching Mike. No. <laughs> because we keep talking about Thriller. Bro, the numbers his other albums have done. <laughs> and then let's introduce streaming into this. Because of streaming, I, I think Thriller is what? Five times Diamond now? More than that. Something yeah. just when, fucking when, when, some cra- some when crazy. Is, yeah. like, when Mike died, whoo. All, the fans went so nuts buying his shit and murdered up. Mike's fans put off Mike's debt within 20 minutes. Yeah, fast. Yeah. And he owed hundreds I, of millions. I, I, I paid it off, no problem. I like Drake. I, I think he, he puts out good music on occasion. But in 20, 30 years, I don't see us talking about what Drake was doing now. No. Here it is, 20, 30 years later, we're talking about what Mike was doing. 20, 30 years from now, still gonna be talking about what Mike yeah, was doing. So, yeah, Mike's yeah. been gone. What he's, now? He's one of those. Damn near ten, I believe. Probably yeah, about ten years now. Yeah. Like people are gonna look back at Mike the way that they look, the way that we look back at all like the some super old motherfuckers. Yeah, like, that yeah. would be our word. name, like Mike, Mike is our Elvis. The way that white people look back at Elvis, they look at this man like he is just literally God's gift to the mm-hmm. earth. Low key, that's kind of how we go. That's kind of how we look back at Mike. And the crazy part about that is too. White folks kind of look at Michael like that too. Exactly. And they hate it. I was like, oh, you look like me, but you're not me. Like, they definitely don't like that shit in the least bit. But I don't know, man. Like, it's it's so weird because I don't know. These kids are dumb. They just want to make it. Kind of, you know what it is? They know the shit's going to be viral. Yeah. That has to be what well, it is. Everybody's chasing that moment. Everybody, and and like Jay said, they moment. know it's going to be there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Jay just said he was going around the whole city trying to find a sold out, sold out album. They know it's going to be there. No, Albums aren't going to sell out. Listen, motherfuckers plan their entire night for release of an album because they right. know by 9 o'clock West Coast time, it's there. Right. Blunt's Road, Drinks Poured, Less Vibe. I don't have to get in my car to go look for shit. I can't look, I, I, bro, I can't take the last time I actually went to the store and bought a CD. Years. It's been yeah, years. It's been years. Actually, you know I think the last CD I bought was a button CD. Mine was uh, uh, Butterfly by Kendrick. Yeah, and that was that was that shit. That was five, six years ago. Yeah. That was even before, even before then. Because I mean, I feel kind of shitty for saying it, but once downloading in general became a thing, <laughs> <laughs> I'm <Raps>. out. Right, <laughs> I'm out. I can't tell you what a physical feel like. <laughs> yeah. it's been forever. I can't. Like tell a you. booklet, an actual physical booklet. Nah, brother. You know what's crazy though? Like, that's to me. Even though I, I kind of contribute to the fall. That's a that's a feeling that we'll never get back, and that people going forward will never have. Just the feeling of getting the actual CD, checking out, getting back to the crib, ripping the motherfucking plastic off that new paper smell. You put in the album, and you just vibe. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Like that. I, I don't know. Like that changes, which is probably why I don't fuck with a lot of music now. Like outside of the fact that a lot of music is trash, but. There was there. It was almost like a ritual when you would get a mm-hmm. when you would yeah. get a joint. You know what I'm saying? Especially when you when you got some shit that you were waiting on. Oh my god! Like as soon as you put that joint in again, going back to get rich or die trying. When Fifty was that nigga, and you actually got your hands on a get rich or die trying unit, you couldn't wait to get home to play yeah. that shit. Got home, try to get home fast as hell, as fast as you could. Like, and I, 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 go to school and I, I, right. I, I, I feel like it's very similar to bro, what we now experience as as the movie theater experience. 
Like, the only difference is now that we have to have streaming. Mm-hmm. I mean, you can still buy a CD, but what, what you gonna play it on? No idea. Yeah, it's, but it's hard. Yeah, nah, I saw a CD. Bro, I saw a Walkman the other day. Where? What? Where? Bruh. That shit was crazy. No, somebody at work had the shit. The fuck? And playing right. it. And it looked new. Okay, where where, where you find tapes at? Bro, they still sell all that shit. Wow. That's great. Now, I don't think they sell tapes as far as like projects anymore, mm-hmm. but they still sell uh, vintage tapes. tapes. And you could still do that. I wonder like, what does HD tapes sound like now? I wonder, do they, do they have VCRs still or VCR tapes? I think VCRs are done. You can, you can find one at Pawn Shop, though. Can you? Yeah. I was just the pawn shop the other day. Right. I ain't seen I the seen pawn shop. Nah, I, I saw what I was doing. That's crazy. For sure. but, but, but my point was, though, was like, back in the day, like, when you, all right, for best example, one of the most famous experiences I've ever had, pr- like, prepping for a movie was The Dark Knight, mm-hmm. right? Bro, it was back in the day when, like, Thursday night was the midnight show. Yeah, I remember You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And then you, and you had to buy tickets mad early mm-hmm. in the day because, you know, by the time- It's going to be sold it's out. It's sold out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. the line was down the street. I remember, like, from the time I saw the first trailer for Dark Knight to opening night, it was exciting, bro. Mm-hmm. Like, you get, you get mm-hmm. to the theater, you know what I'm saying? You got the ticket ready to go. You, the line is fucking down the street. You get inside, you get your popcorn, watch the, the, the concession line is also mad long because everybody's there for the same movie. And as you look down the hallway, the next four or five screens is the same it's the shit. Same thing, yeah. Cause it's yeah. that big of a movie. Yeah. And then you go inside, you find your uh before, and this is before there was assigned seats. You go up in there, you find you find somewhere to sit, you and the squad, cause the whole theater is I mean Stupid pack, yeah. you butthole hold, pack. You gotta hold that one couple that sat right in the middle. Like, nigga, we need five chairs, and y'all sitting right in the middle. Right, of us that's five. right. And y'all yeah. please move. Down. Exactly. <laughs> Put yeah. your jackets and show on, on on the seat because you know them, them taking. Yeah, and we, and we all live in the hood. This motherfucker come and move that chair. <laughs> 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 that's my seat. <laughs> and, and it's like, and then the movie starts, and the movie's fucking fantastic. Yeah, and you just it, it was a, it was it's it's an experience. Whether it's a, a horror movie, a comedy, especially you go see something that's mad funny. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! Yeah. And, and a packed theater. I, really I love it. I think the experience contributes to longevity, like legit. Because True. like like you just got done that. explaining. Like just imagine the days of going to the movies and you think you had to be there early and all time, and you see that line. You, and see, you see that line. Stress like fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I'm about to be in this line all day. Yeah. The first line that I seen that I was like, okay, we're gonna be in this line all all day was Eight Mile. Yep. Yep. Oh my God. That, that line was, so was fucking Eight was ridiculous. All, Eight Mile was the entire theater. Yeah. Like, and I, multiple screens. And yeah. not only was it the line crazy the day that we went, it was crazy every day that they yeah, had the fucking day. thing. I think we, we caught it on Saturday. Me, Los, and moms caught it <laughs> <laughs> on a Saturday. <laughs> tells you, it tells you our age. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We, we were mad young at the time for sure, but that, but that thing was packed. Yeah. Oh, that was the days that we're going to the movies. Your fit had to be right. Yeah, you, know what you, I'm you knew it was gonna be so, either somebody you knew, some some women you you, you knew. Black, black, bro. Back in school, when a, when a, when, a movie, when a movie was getting ready to drop, bro, you know everybody was gonna go see that shit. Like, bro, you gotta be fly that night. Yeah, that was yeah. like you had to be fly. Yeah. Like when you got served drop, but what? And that, that wasn't even for us. Yeah. That's but how we was, went uh, <laughs> when three hundred dropped. Oh, oh, 300 yeah. drop like uh, by that time oh, well, we yeah. like juniors or something like that you you had to make sure about you 300 right. oh, yeah. was like a you was yeah. one nigga not talking about 300 yeah. oh, so you broke <laughs> I, I understand it's cool <laughs> so your but, parents don't love you cool <laughs> just like with albums man like just the feeling of going in FYE or Best Buy and yeah. get an album and be like you want a poster I do want a poster I, want a poster. <laughs> I ain't want one when I came us. in I didn't want that before but I'll but take I do, I do want one now I do want a poster yeah. I'll take yeah. it of this yeah, why not? Yeah, why not? I'll definitely rock with that. But I'm saying, man, I, I don't know. Like, I really do hate to sound like an old nigga, you know what I'm saying? But I'm really kind of rooted in nostalgia with this shit because I truly believe that that is one of the reasons why longevity doesn't exist anymore. I'm not saying it's the key reason, clearly not. Mm-hmm. But the 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 excitement to get to the album was a part of the rollout. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. excitement to get to the movie was a part of the rollout. Yeah. The conversation leading up to it, Cats. You know what I'm saying? Hitting the different radio stations. Um, now it's the podcast. You know, mm-hmm. so I'm glad that's starting to rear its head back again. But it's podcast at the radio stations. But cats going on. You know, what I'm saying hitting different radio stations, planning the tours. You know, what I'm saying you, you had MTV and BET still playing music videos, and you had the videos. Want to see the Park Top Ten live? Like, and then the album that you're looking forward to that had a number one record for three, four weeks straight. Mm-hmm. Oh, I can't wait till this album drop. You know, what and, I mean? and that's why I, I kind of appreciate. I kind of appreciate. 
Bruno and Anderson Park, what they're doing, even though like it dog it also shows sweet fucking time. I mean, I was, I was like, bro, what the fuck is taking so long for the album to come? And it's like we should be used to that. Like the, the time that that you're talking about was if your album dropped in June, we got the first single in January. But you got to second single about March. Think about how much shit official changed. release date April. You know what I'm but saying? Th- to that exact point, think about how much shit's changed. We just got done. Everyone just got done complaining about how long Kanye and Drake's albums are because they got 21, 22 tracks. Nigga, we're from the double disc era. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's one thing. That's one argument where I'm like, I don't really too much understand it. Like, you mad because this album was long, but I know you was listening to music 10, 15 years ago. Yeah, you but, wasn't complaining but, but, then. But, but even back in there, though, not every artist was doing double disc records. Okay, you're right. But but what I'm saying is, you weren't complaining about it being long then, and maybe we're conditioned now to have the shorter albums. But why you don't take that same conditioning with anything else? It only applies to that. Right. I think that's a very individual thing because I I've never complained about like I never liked the fact that all lives of me is too fucking this long. Even though it's shit me on either. there, even though there's shit on there, you know, but it's a I, banger. I, I get it. Same thing with uh life at the, life after death. Like, mm-hmm. I, it doesn't need to be too this long, mm-hmm. but also at the same time, I get it. But but to be fair, for a double disc. Life after death is damn perfect. <laughs> no, it yes, is. Yeah, it is. absolutely. But yeah. Damn but damn yeah. but no. just like just like just like everything that has a double disc to it, anything that's, that's over 14, 15 records, it becomes playlist shit. Like I like this one. It was alright, but the difference is now I can just take it off the album and just make my own list of shit. Back in the day, if it's on a CD, it's on, I just gotta skip it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the point is. The the art of the ten to twelve song album has not died out. The thing is though, because it's about the, this numbers game. When they see the four fed, if, if if I drop a forty eight song album, mm-hmm. Chris Brown, Chris Brown, almost Dude, all, no one's complained about that long ass fucking album. By the both way. of them, true, <laughs> true, and he did do both. Back both to back, about back it. to it's, back. It's only us ungrateful hip hop motherfuckers, right? <laughs> and. I, when, and I, I put that in the same category. Like, bro, Heartbreak on a, on a Full Moon, bro, has out of what, 48 songs. I think I love 12 of them. Uh, and a whole album in itself. Which is a new, new generation album. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. So for me being old here, bro, I, I I never understood the 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 love, hate for Double Dead Joint because, because bro, it, it's all playlist shit to me now. Pac's album didn't need to be two albums uh, to, to Double Disc. And, he, and Pac had, what, like three of them? That's all Double Disc? Both during life and death, because Pac all he did was lock himself. You know what I'm like, saying? Like, better yeah. days had no point being a double disc. So Lena Sam had no point uh, being well, a double disc. That's the label's fault. But still, it was like we got to continue on the Pac trend. Yeah. No, you don't. You just want to. You try to cash up. I, I am curious because it doesn't that. Op- I think that escalates your uh, your IA your RIAA certification, doesn't it? Yeah, by no. having double disc. Yeah. So yeah. you really you go, but then you get the plaque because you get the platinum plaque because. Yeah. Technically, that's a million units. We and really, up, we they only did it this many. <laughs> Most only did it back in the day because they know that as far as your contract with the label, that's this has two albums. Yes, back in the day. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. But but then when when uh, when the, the numbers became a thing and the RIAA got involved, like we could actually make some money off this shit, right? But back in the day, bro, if I did two albums, if I did if I did a double this album, there's, there's a two right there. I'm done. But now, shit, you can do an EP and that classifies as album. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm, four or five and, songs. And, 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 and think I, about the all album. the shit that, that qualifies now as streaming. If you play it on YouTube right now, that's a streaming cred. Yeah. Facebook just Facebook is a streaming cred. Yeah. Like, yeah. like, bro, we can drop a, we can drop a song today. Mm-hmm. And it'll go platinum, hopefully, in, within a week. You we know should, what I'm saying? We, if we if, should if, do if that. it's everywhere. We should do yeah. that. We should just make a song, just one song, make a song for the podcast, and... That, that should be what we do. The bubble gut sluts. Boom. <laughs> boom <laughs> That's what we do. A bunch of bad bitches just fought. <laughs> oh, boom. Shit. Those things really contributed to it. Whether it was a pleasure to do it or it was, you know, annoying to kind of deal with. Mm-hmm. That all contributes to it, man. And that, I think that really does help make things live forever. Because streaming has, has made things come so quick and fast that one point is huge. Next point, eh. I'm good. That is true. It's it's like um, what's the word? Everything everything is like it's like fleeting. Like you get it, and then as soon as you get it, it's, it's you don't want to fuck it's with it. Like, you know what I mean? As soon as the Marvel movies start becoming part of streaming, they're gonna lose their lust. Like the how TV do you see, show. How do you see them become a part of streaming though? Well, it, they, they was this last run. They definitely was because um, 
uh, Black like Widow. You mean like streaming, like just just put out streaming? Yeah, okay, okay. We're gonna get to the place where the mo- the movie theater is gonna become obsolete. You think so? Absolutely. But yeah, I think it's become obsolete because we're gonna get to the point that people are just more so taken by the streaming. Mm-hmm. And you you already heard like you would hear people like, "Fuck, man, this really coming to theaters? It can't just come to the to HBO Max." Yeah, I, I have you know heard, heard that. Saying? Yeah, should Once, I? We've probably even said it. Yeah, one of the things that made. Avengers and all that so big was that rollout was being yeah, able to go to the and it, became, it became an event. It became an event. Yeah. Now when it's just streaming, it's it's probably it's not gonna have that same lust. Now they're killing it with the TV shows, but mm-hmm. you can do that in streaming because it's a fucking TV show. True. True. I would I, I would agree if Shang Chi didn't make the money that it made. If Shang Chi made guap. Right, because you I had, heard, to, I just you had the opportunity right, to go to the yeah. theaters, but <clears> it, 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 it was a theaters only thing. It's gonna be to the point that unless the only reason you have movie theaters open is for Avengers movies. I can see Marvel that movies. happening. I can see that happening. And Marvel, I think Marvel is going to become, yeah, they're gonna, they're, their thing is making movies, but I think they're going to become separate than the yeah. actual movie process. Like, right. you can go to the movies, oh, no, I'm going to this Marvel event. I, I think that's how it's going to Disney would just open up a bunch of theaters just to put out Marvel movies. Because at this point, what else is worth going to the theaters? Y'all just named a bunch of movies that y'all regret. <laughs> seeing recently <laughs> you got a point you know what I'm saying <laughs> you got a point so at this point like you know it, 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 I mean the, there, there are things that are coming out market. that I will see in theaters like The Matrix I'll, I'll catch you in theaters for sure mm-hmm. I don't know no, yeah, yeah, you, you might be on your own the blue, only one, don't, that one the only one and I probably maybe maybe the only one that I, I would consider going to move for is Doom oh the new Doom yeah. Doom yeah uh, and then I, I want to show Will Smith for Love and catch uh, King Richard as well yeah, I catch that. Even though that could be that could be a, a stream inside nah, like kind of kind stream. of vibe. I'll catch that stream. I'll definitely catch that on, yeah. on the young Max. <laughs> <laughs> but what you, what you can stream is these episodes of the noise. Yep. We back on y'all. the app. On ah. the app. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and download that. Uh you already know what to do, man. Add the noise podcast on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Follow B Network on everything. Uh make sure you like, subscribe to the channel. More 20 for 20 coming. Make sure y'all check out 20 for 20 this Sunday, October 3rd. It's going to be a great goddamn time. Make sure you come to the live if you are in Vegas, October 9th at Dreamcatcher Studios. Uh, it's going to be a great time, man. At Beat Network, at The Noise Podcast. Make sure y'all are following everything. As always, we appreciate you guys tuning in. As always, we appreciate the support. As always, it's Big Los. Follow a calf. Jay Alonzo. It's The Noise. <laughs>